Okay, this is a uh, Panty Green Laser Rifle Mount Open Box. Not a review, just many of open box. I have one of this razor be uh, laser before for my rifle AK uh, and AR-15. Now I use this for my air rifle. Okay, so let's see. So people can see what's in the box. Sometimes it's hard to see what's in the box. Only rely on Amazon or eBay's uh, description or pictures. So I find it will be very helpful if I start to uh, make videos like this. Okay, so two pamphlet. Happy, not happy with the product. Unhappy, okay. Lasers spec. I'm gonna hold it here for a while so people can read it. You can hit pause, okay. Oh, they they actually do come with a battery. That's good because I was getting one, so it will. Um, we'll be able to use it. It looks like this is identical battery. Maybe a little smaller in size. Okay, here's the, the mount. Okay. Here's the trigger. Trigger mount. And here's the O ring. Come with the O ring. Okay. I'm not sure why it's inside this thing. Let's just pull it off for now. There's the mount. So mainly all the screws is on top. And it does come with the Allen wrench. And a double side Velcro piece. And the laser. You can adjust the tolerance up and down, left and right. And this is the click. I tend to uh, feel it's a lot easier. Personally, there's nothing here anymore. See the box. Nothing in the bottom. Left, right, back. Okay, open box. I tend to like the click and the laser just on instead of this, because this I have to mount it. This I can click on and just trace the laser. So, let's throw the battery in. And this battery is, um, I'll let you read it, CR123A, 3 volts. Let's see if the camera can pick up. And the other battery I have is 3.7 volts. For for different laser from the same company and it's LC16340 2000 M ohms and this is a um, 1300M hertz I guess made in China this whole thing's made in China but let's try their battery just for now so the way which way is positive which is negative Okay, here it says right here. Let's zoom in. It shows positive and negative. So it goes this way. Just one. That's actually really good. But I'm worried it's only one. Uh, 
Hopefully it lasts. Well, it's pretty good. Yeah. I'm shooting across the room. Let's see if I can do this. It's fairly bright. So, okay. I think it works. Okay. Um, they look like the same size. They might, they might not be the same size. So, for kicks and giggles, it is open box review. Let's unscrew this thing. on what I see there's a little tape inside of this okay on both so it should be okay let's try this one this one and this one okay so this one fits okay let's try the other one this one and this one also fits. So for you either one you're gonna use it fits. It's identical. Okay, so the last one we're gonna try it out for people is this. So you take it out, you stick this thing in. Take this screw here. I think the O-ring meant to go at least maybe right here. I think that's where it goes. For the trigger piece. Okay, and then we'll go to this. I can feel there's I can feel there's two buttons here. Let's try the first button. Okay, the first one is the top one to the outer one. That's the the touch one, and the second one is also the, well. Okay, so either button works the same. There's not a steady on and off switch. It's just on finger trigger. Okay, so that's that. Slightly different than one over on my AR and AK. So that's it. Oh, and this just yeah, just dials. There's no cap to take off. Just dials in. Okay. Zoom in to this, zoom into this. Okay, that's it. Thanks for watching.